Okay, sir. So in the last class, we discussed about all these things, right? How we can create that configuration attribute and how we can use, how we can place this attribute in a, uh, a bundle product level, feature level, all those things, right, sir? Yes. Sir. Today, we'll discuss about uh, product rules in a Salesforce CPQ. Like, uh, how many types of product rules are there? Like, um, what is the use of product rules in a Salesforce? We'll discuss uh, all those things one by one. Okay. So, so product rules are like the same, like uh, in a Salesforce, we have something called validations, workflow rules, right? The same here also in a CPQ. For example, if you're selecting invalid data, we can, we, if you're entering invalid uh, data in the record, we can show the error message using validation and rules, right? So similarly here also, in case if you are setting invalid products or like a different quantity or something not matching to the criteria, you can show validation alerts, so many things here, okay? So here we have uh, four types of product rules. So one is a uh, selection rules and other one second one is uh, validation rules so third one is the alert rules fourth one is filter So what is the use of selection rules is, so generally whenever I'm selecting one product, okay, or whenever I'm selecting some option, based on product selection, based on uh, product selection, so we can like uh, perform some actions on other products. actions on other products okay for example uh, in the last class i think we discussed something called uh, option constraint right like uh, include exclude okay there we can perform only include and exclude but here by using selection rules we can perform so many type of actions by using option constraint there is only like um, include and exclude but here what we can do is we can add the product, select, show, hide, disable, remove, so many actions we can perform in a selection rules. For example, what are those actions we can perform? I'll share that the details here, we can see. Okay, so these are all the action you can perform. For example, based on one product selection, you can add or specify the other option, remove other option, okay, enable, disable enable and add disable and remove show hide show and add so this is these are all the actions we can perform by using selection rules okay but in the option constant there is only two actions like only uh, include and exclude but here we can perform all this type of actions using a selection rules in the salesforce cpq okay so this is all the, okay. So based on one product selection or option selection, you can perform other product include, exclude, remove, disable, enable, and add. What is the meaning of enable and add? What is the meaning of enable and add is? Enable an option and select it. It will enable the option automatically and it will select it. And one more thing is, so most of the product rules, okay, will work on bundled products only or normal standalone products, but most of the times, Product rules will useful for like a bundle products. Okay. And disable and remove. What is the meaning of disable and remove? Deselect an option and disable it so users cannot select it. That is the meaning of this disable and remove. Show. Show a hidden option. Hide. Prevent an option from showing in the UI. Okay. So, like this, we can perform all these actions by using a selection. Okay. So, this is same like option constraints. So based on one product or option selection, 
we can do other products all this type of actions okay that is called selection this this is the nothing but what what we can call these things actions we can perform some actions based on one product option or op product selection okay <clears throat> Second and third, so both are same. Okay, there is a small difference between these two. Okay, so what is the meaning of uh, validation rules? This so we can show error message. So this is same like a Salesforce uh, validation rules. <laughs> In case if you are giving wrong data. Record will not save until we correct the data. Correct? The same way, in case if you are selecting products, invalid products, it will not save until we can give the correct products, qualities, or like a, uh, selections, whatever it may be. We can show error message. Okay. Here, cart will not save, quote will not save. until we select correct products until uh, we clear the error message okay for example whenever i'm selecting us keyboard okay for example, simple example I'll take. Okay. For example, we have something called a A4 paper bundle, right? <clears throat> Printer and toner. Okay. So what is happening is, so normally if you take a normal business also, so many people will buy more printers, sorry, uh, like less toners and more less printers and more toners okay so normally you can buy 100 toners but printers you know like you if you buy like a two toner and 100 printers this is not correct scenario this is a wrong combination okay so no one will buy 100 printers and two toners so this is a wrong combination correct so in this case what you can do is you can show the error message <laughs> so you will now okay so you cannot buy like a you cannot buy a printer quantity like a more than toner quantity <laughs> something like this okay so are we can, you can give the error message printer quantity should be okay toner quantity should be more than printer quantity right sir this is normally we can buy more printers, not uh, more uh, uh, more toners, not more printers, right? We can show the error message. So until you can cut the error message, for example, I can give five printers, 200 toners. Yes, this is possible, right? right? In this case, it will save the combinations. Otherwise, it will not save until we can clear the error message. Okay, we should give the printer quantity less than toner quantity. Then only this combinations will save into the code line. Okay, otherwise it will not save until we'll correct the quantities. That is called validation rule. Here we can use the only message. So here mainly we can just show the message. That's it. Here also we can show the message. So what is the difference between validation and alert? What is the difference between validation and alert? Okay. So here also we can show the error message. So we cannot call it as a show error message. We can show the like a warning message. Same message we can show here, but quote will save. Even we but can it give navigates the quantity. to other page. Yeah, ma'am. Save will save with the same change. Save. So this is like a warning, madam. Okay. So what we can give error messages. So no one will buy like a uh, like a printers more than toners. So 
so like that you can give the warning message but uh, we can show the message but we can give the some option okay here we can give the some option like a cancel and continue so we can show the error message same error message no one will buy more more printers than toners okay so still if you want to continue okay you can continue with the same quantity like this so the main difference between validation and alert is even though if you are giving some wrong combinations or some good, like a mismatching quantities and all you can save with the same combinations but when it comes to validation rules we should clear the error message then only we can navigate to the we can save the code all those things line items and everything okay this is called validation and alert rules okay and uh, last one is filter so filters is nothing but a here also we can perform action so here also action here also action so here what a type of actions we can perform all these actions we can perform right but when it comes to filter rules what you can do we can perform like a action called filter default filter something like a filter products normally okay so this is a, uh, say just for filtering uh, products in a feature level okay <coughs> filter is why we use just filter the products right options in the future level we can use this option okay so here the main difference between four types of rules is validation and alert we can show the error message that's it and the selection rules and filter rules we are performing some action based on the product selection or option selection you can do all these actions based on the product selection you can filter the products all these things these are the like a four types of product rules in the salesforce cpq okay so just one minute 